So today we're going to look at public opinion. Here are our objectives. We're going to describe public opinion, list its features, uh, outline the factors that may influence public opinion, right? Uh, merits and demerits of public opinion. What else again? Then methods that we can use to sample public opinion. So simply put, public opinion is the view or let's say uh, the, the belief, the view, the idea, the general view of the people about a given policy of the government. So it can be defined as a collective belief, judgment, view held by a majority of citizens in a country about a policy, public policy of a government. So these are, we consider them as views held by majority of the people, right? So you know when there's a majority, there's a minority. Majority of the people concerning a given government policy, right? So it is the opinion held by a large percentage of the people on a given government policy, the same thing as well. Uh, so uh, let me just be making this little corrections. Okay, let's go on. So let's see. An example is the view of the people concerning, you see, this was in 1994. Now let's imagine what has happened when the, pres the present uh, Nigerian president announced that he is not going to subsidize the price of uh, uh, fuel anymore, right? See how people were not happy. A good number were not happy. Uh, should I say majority? But I can't say majority maybe because I don't have the right to but I can guess and say probably it's majority because everybody is going to feel the pinch of that subsidy removal. So let's look at features of public opinion. It is dynamic. That means it is not static. Dynamic means it changes from time to time, right? Now it involves issues of public importance or prevailing public issue. It must be something that affects the public, the masses, not just a segment of the nation. Right? So public opinion has to do with the view held by majority of the people in a particular country. A view held by the majority. Right? Uh, it is usually the opinion that starts from individual and not from the government. It's the public view. It's a view held by the people. So it doesn't begin from the government. The government has no view in it. And it's something that begins from a person and it now spreads around public opinion. So information and communication plays a vital role in the spread of public opinion, etc. So what are the factors that can influence public opinion? The mass media can influence it because they can aid its spreading. They can make it spread pretty fast. The internet, Twitter, Facebook, whatsoever. The family also is another avenue for this, uh, that can influence public opinion. What is taught in the family can be adopted by the children of that same family and they can grow with it. The schools, especially the universities, secondary schools, they are, they are fields where public opinion can be cultivated and allowed to germinate. Also, religion can also be another factor. For example, it can be spread in the church, it can be spread in the mosque, right? So uh, pressure groups can be another group that's a fact that can influence public opinion, right? So... Uh, like now, the Nigerian Labour Congress is planning on going for strike or going on strike. They on Wednesday. We're not sure, right? So they can do that to mount pressure on the government. It's an example of a pressure group, right? So political parties as well, even politicians, uh, they are part of the factors that can influence public opinion. Influential citizens, I mean, those who have uh, whose position or whose uh, words can be a, a rallying point for the masses. People tend to believe them very well. We call them influential citizens. So let's don't forget that they have, they can influence, there are factors that can influence public opinion, even rumors and gossip. Even when the thing is not true, rumors and gossip can influence or affect public opinion as well. So let's go further. Now let's look at functions and advantages of public opinion. So it can check the wrong use of governmental power right? People can cry against something, raise their voices in disdain against something, and the government will drop it. 
So it, it, it also determines the legitimacy of the government. Because when government respects public opinion, right? When government respects public opinion, such government gains the credibility and support of the people, of the masses, right? Now, election periods afford voters the opportunity to choose their leaders. Hence, the popularity or otherwise of the incumbent government can be tested. So popular participation. So it's the moment you can use to test how popular a given government is when they go to the election, election poll, right? So public opinion can be an avenue for feedback for the government. And it tells the government how much the people believe or take sides with them or how the people accept their governorship or their government. So disadvantages, public opinion can often give distorted picture of an issue. It can be overblown. That means you may end up dis discovering that what is being said in the rumor mill and what actually happened are way too different. One was over-exaggerated. Now, let me say one was exaggerated, blown out of proportion. Now, it is very difficult to measure public opinion because people don't behave in a consistent manner, right? Yeah. And it, public opinion is dynamic too. So today it can be this, tomorrow it can change to something else. Now, it can be manipulated by influential members of the society for to achieve a given aim or objective. It can be manipulated as well. So uh, it can be overtaken by events, especially when this event happens in quick succession. So you may end up not knowing exactly what the people are saying. Today is this, tomorrow is that. So where exactly do they lie in? Or what exactly are they talking about? So what are the methods of measuring public opinion? Sampling. This is the most popular way of measuring public opinion. Is the process by which a percentage of the population is selected and asked a given question. Now, based on their feedback, it, we can now conclude that such view is what the public holds or what the public maintains with regards to a given policy. For example, if they go to Lagos Island now, ask five people in the market or 20 people in the market, and they say that this uh, subsidy removal is painful, they can draw the conclusion that the majority of the people feel that same way. That's the idea of sampling. Now, opinion poll is a set of questions about a certain subject. So the purpose is to analyze and aggregate opinion on certain issues through sampling. So opinion poll, they can be given questionnaires to answer, right? So then you can now take a view. You can now discover that majority of them leans towards this view. That majority of them accept the fact that subsidy removal is affecting people badly. So you sample the opinion of the people. You may put it out through uh, forms and they now fill and submit back to you. You can ask questions, same question to different people. Now, election is another popular way of checking, uh, uh, measuring public opinion. When a government loses, it tells you what the people feel about them. And when they win, it tells you what the people feel about them. Now, referendum is the voting system in which voters are uh, expected to answer for or against the view. For example, in Panama, when they wanted to build the second canal, the government asked the people whether they actually wanted it. So majority said yes. That's a, a referendum. But remember, this referendum was done on a national event, event that can affect the nation at large. Why plebiscite is also a form of uh, referendum. But here, it's on a local issue. So it means the degree of the people's decision on an issue. Right? So... Uh, these are ways of measuring or sampling public opinion, right? So we're going to rest our case here. Uh, most often, this public opinion thing is, it happens all the time. Like this subsidy removal is an issue. Uh, what else again? If we talk about uh, increasing of minimum wage, it's an issue. So is there, these are public views. These are government policy issues. So the view of majority, the view of the majority of the people on government policies is what is equal to public opinion. So I'm going to rest my case here. If you have any question, meet me in the comment section section and drop it there, and I will get back to you ASAP. So we covered these five nuggets. If you have any question, I would love to get it.